It's tonight, Game 5 between the Thunder and Spurs. Now, in a Game 5, the winner, when a series is tied 2-2, goes on to win 82% of the time they win the series. Skip Bayless. Mm. Stephen A., I'm going to start with you, though. Who wins? Well, I'm going with the Spurs in Game 5. I think both teams are going to protect their home court advantage for the rest of this series. Um, we both picked the Spurs to win this series in seven games. I'd prefer that the Thunder win, to be quite honest with you, because you know how much I fantasize about Russell Westbrook going up against Steph Curry, uh, particularly in a conference finals. The magnitude of that would have birthed to the NBA Finals on the line, along with Kevin Durant going up against Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and those boys. I think that the Oklahoma City Thunder, as a roster, is more suited to go up against a team the magnitude of the Golden State Warriors. Uh, un unfortunately, I just look at San Antonio. I think they're a well-oiled machine. I think that obviously Kevin Durant's greatness uh, could, could overcome all of those skeptics, and there's no doubt about that, along with that of Russell Westbrook, I might add. But I still look at this as a situation. I thought that one, uh, each team would, would, would win a game on the road. I can't see either team winning two games. On the, on the other's home court. I just can't see that happening. And so when I look at the San Antonio Spurs, obviously LaMarcus Aldridge shot better than 70% in the first two games. 78% the first game, 71 the second game. And after that, he's been relatively ordinary. 38% in game three, 44% in game four, only hitting eight field goals in each of the game. Eight for 21 one game, eight for 18 the last game. He's got to play better, especially with Tim Duncan. And if I have any trepidation, Skip, about the, Oklahoma, about the San Antonio Spurs in this series is that I certainly expected more of Tim Duncan. Part of the reason I picked San Antonio is that I didn't expect Father Time to appear to so emphatically knock on the door of Tim Duncan at this stage. I didn't think that we'd see him go scoreless in an NBA playoff game, you know, or not play in a fourth quarter. I'm, I'm shocked at what I'm seeing right now. Maybe he's not healthy. Maybe there's something we don't know because you never know with the Spurs and Popovich and those guys. But I am shocked by that. Now, but in the end, it's still the San Antonio Spurs, and you're going to have to show me that you'd beat them twice on their home floor. I'm not going to believe for one second that it's just something you're going to automatically do. You know, forgive me for this, but, but I'm getting a little tired of, you, of your duplicitous predictions on this series because I'm still convinced you're just trying to jinx my spurs because you admitted <laughs> just then you are rooting for the Thunder to win this series. Is that yeah, not do. the case? You, I, yeah, I can is. hear it in your voice. Yeah, yeah, it I, is. I get yeah, it. it. I, I sense it. I know it. You yeah. know what? I, I wish I didn't have to make a prediction on this game. I wish I could just go watch it, though I'm going to watch it with maybe one eye closed because this is it, man. The Spurs season rests on tonight. If they lose this game, it's going They're to be almost game six. impossible to, to yeah. get back to San Antonio for game you seven. You and I are on that page. Okay. If they lose right. tonight, so, so they're not winning game six. So this could be, dare I say, could be Tim Duncan's last home game in San Antonio, Texas. It's a mouthful that I just spoke. So what do I think? I think two things. I'm going to be honest about this. If Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook immediately start doing what they did the other night in Oklahoma City, the Spurs can't beat this team. Those two are just too good. You know it, and I know it. If Russell Westbrook's going to go for 15 assists and Kevin's going to go for 41 points, they're just too good. Their capability is nuclear. And when, when they find, if they hit early stride and rhythm, they're just too good for my Spurs. But obviously, I'm sticking with my Spurs. And I'm going to point out that in this series, let's look at the games quickly. Game one, a blowout for my Spurs in San Antonio. That will not happen again tonight. Game two, my Spurs had the basketball in their hands with 10 seconds to go. And what I thought was a pretty good sort of semi-fast break opportunity to close that deal, and they did not take advantage, and Oklahoma City stole game two. My Spurs were highly impressive in game three. You attended it on Friday night, but it took two late turnovers from Russell Westbrook and one from Kevin Durant to open the door for them to win that game, and they did. And then the other night, my Spurs were up six with 11 minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and you know what happened the rest of the way. They got blown off the floor. I'm a little concerned that they unleashed the OKC beast. I'm a little concerned that the Thunder are going to carry heavy momentum into this pivotal game five back in San Antonio. 
I'm a little concerned. I must admit it. I'm not making excuses. I'm telling you the facts. Hearing this from Spurs insiders last night, there's concern in the Spurs camp about Tony Parker's, it's either his ankle or lower leg. Remember when he fell at the end of the game? And he, he, he toughed it out and kept playing. But I'm sure there's some residue there. And also, and I'm more concerned with this one, Kawhi Leonard hurt his knee late in the game and toughed it out and kept going. And I'm not sure what the hangover effect is from that, how sore yeah. that knee might be I going into this game. Yeah. Yep. So those yeah, are two that. things that I'm, I'm watching at the start of the game to see how spry those two are, because if they're not, it's going to be a hard game to win. Now, why do I believe in my Spurs? I just believe in the character of this basketball team. They have won all their close games this year, except for one home game against Golden State and that game two against the Thunder. It's a tough-minded team. It has a depth of, of experience and character. And I think Tim Duncan's going to play tonight and play big tonight. I just see it. You, you can say it's a last hurrah. I think he's going to be protecting the rim and playing at a higher level than we've seen him before. And I think he's, both of his knees are now bothering him maybe so much that he's going to have to call it a career after this is over. But it's not going to be over after tonight to me. I think the Spurs are going to win. I think everybody's going to have to play at a higher level. I think Patty Mills is going to have to get hot and get going tonight. And I believe in him, and I believe he will. So I'm going to say Spurs have to keep the score, the Oklahoma City score, under 100 and win a close game in the range of 100 to 96 in, the, in that range, sort of like the, the game three Friday night in Oklahoma City. I'm sticking with them because I believe in them. Well, listen, I, I, I didn't say just because I'm not rooting for them doesn't mean I don't believe in them. I mean, I just I just wish that oh, I had more faith in Oklahoma's consistency and their continuity. And I just I simply don't have that with a rookie head coach in the NBA. I think they've done a phenomenal job thus far. I think Kevin Durant is playing like his life is on the line and he's balling. And I expect him to continue that onslaught. It's just that I think that the well-oiled machine that we've come to know the San Antonio Spurs to be, um, if they've got anything left in them, and I believe they do, I think they'll protect their home court before tanking it in game six. And I don't mean tanking it on purpose. I mean just being empty for game six and then coming back for a game seven back in San Antonio. That's just the way that I see this series unfolding. All right. But you're still deep down. You're still rooting for those thunder. I can hear there's it. No, there's, no, there's no deep down. It's right on the surface. Okay, I am rooting it. for the thunder. Right, I, I would love, I would much rather prefer a Golden State Oklahoma City Thunder and be for not for travel purposes because it's a nightmare for me to travel to Oklahoma City because it's too difficult. It's easier road to San Antonio. But for the sake of for, for the purposes of a basketball matchup, Oklahoma City versus Golden State is definitely more appealing to me at this point. But I think that San Antonio will find a way to stave off OKC. OK. Molly also Tonight, rooting yeah. like crazy for the Thunder. Yeah. We get it. No, I think I'm going to go Spurs. You are not. You're <laughs> I just, I, you, you would be so nervous. It. You You're going to be a one-eyed monster no, tonight. I, I can't wait. That's at 8 Eastern. All right, we'll discuss it tomorrow morning. Speaking of those Thunder, don't be nervous, Kim. GQ Magazine profiles Russell Westbrook and compares him to Allen Iverson. What do the guys have to say about that? We'll get into this when we come back. Stay here.